Hello everybody, it's the Pollinator, and um, boy, this has been, a, the last week has been, have had a lot of diversity uh, going on, a lot of cool things going on, and this video is going to be about the Black Panther movie that I've seen twice now. I just came back from seeing it a second time. Um, the first time I went with a group of men who um, who are part of a support group that I go to in the area. And uh, I went to um, downtown, big theater, black people everywhere. Uh, women dressed up like some of the warriors in the movie. Um, men dressed up in African garb. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. The first time I saw it, I uh, went to a preview of the, the premiere um, last Thursday. And I was so stoked after seeing that movie. Um, and then I came back. Um, and over the last few days, I've been looking at other... I'm sorry, I've always seemed to be picking something out of my mouth. This time it's popcorn. <clears throat> um, anyway, um, where was I at? I hope I have to pick up somewhere else because I just forgot my train of thought. Um, oh, okay. So I've been watching various reactions to the movie. So spoiler, spoiler alert, if you have not seen... Uh, the Black Panther movie, you might not want to watch this particular video because I'm going to say some things about it. Uh, so, again, if you haven't seen it, escape, get out of the video. Um, so, I've read articles on the internet um, on people's take of the movie. I've seen people's reactions before they seen the movie. I've seen people's reactions after they saw the movie. Um, I've just been all over the place reading lots and lots of things um, about it from uh, black people's perspective and from people who are not black, their perspective. Um, actually, I think I've only seen people who are, are white, um, their reaction to that film. I haven't seen any other kinds of POCs reacting to that movie because it was so, so powerfully black. Um, I mean, first of all, um, I didn't know anything whatsoever about, um, the Black Panther, the Marvel, uh, comic book series where the characters came from, where the storyline came from. And from what I've heard, um, it's pretty, staying pretty true to the storyline, uh, in the comic book series, uh, but, you know, I don't know. I didn't know. I don't know. Um, all I know is I went to see it without any um, biases, um, without any knowledge of the characters, without anything at all. In fact, when I showed up, um, one of the guys said, where's your African garb? And I'm like, what African garb? I mean, I had no idea what I was getting ready to see, which I think for me was a blessing. Uh, in disguise because I did not go into it with any biases and then as I read everybody's um, reactions to the film um, itself and a lot of the powerful powerful messages both positive and negative about um, about the movie um, I thought it, I, I knew I wanted to see it again and I was waiting to see it with my best friend but he had car problems and didn't know when he was going to be able to see it again so I just on a whim, impulsively, um, I went to see it again. And I was hoping that the things that I read would not impact uh, the way I felt about the movie, the way I felt, period, um, about it this time, and it didn't. See, and, and I wish I could call the characters out by name, but I can't because I'm not... I'm, I'm still not terribly familiar with all the characters. But, you know, there's, there's just a lot, a lot of people um, 
with various um, comments and and feelings and thoughts about about this movie. Um, and I'm not coming at it as coming uh, talking about this as a theologist, as a PhD, as somebody who's extremely popular on. Uh, Facebook or YouTube or whatever. This is just my own personal take that, you know, positive or negative. I, when I watch movies, I watch movies the way I listen to people that I admire. Um, I don't, I look for the similarities, not the differences, so that I walk away with, um, with the awesome feelings that it gave me, not the negative biases that I have running around in my mind about it. And I'll, I'll you know, I, I would tell you what people are saying about, about this film, but I don't know, I think that would take away from how I felt about it, which, you know, put me on high, gave me hope, gave me, um, I won't say gave me courage, but um, it just, I'd never seen anything like that before in my life. Nothing where it was an almost all black cast. Um, oh, and, and this I found out after the fact, after I saw it the first time was that, and I didn't even realize it when I was watching it, that the majority, I don't even think there was one black person in it who was any lighter skin than I am. Um, so it, exalted dark-skinned black people um the women were amazing warriors the men were amazing warriors and there was a couple of a couple of white guys um yeah a bad guy and a good guy <laughs> in the movie and um you know i just oh and i thought you know what we ought to do and, and I don't care if it came from a movie or not. I don't care if it came from somebody starting it out there somewhere or, um, it, it, you know, the, the fist pump, right? Which is something that um, really came from the black community. Um, other people do use it, have hijacked it more or less, uh, like they do everything else that we, we create. Um, but I thought of a new handshake. And it's not a handshake. It came from the movie. Um, it's a lot less uh, personable than a fist pump because, you, you know, you're touching somebody when you do that. But one of the gestures in the, the movie that the king um, did to everybody that, I, you know, I, I would try to put a word on what that was, but here it is, folks. Just like that. Boom. Hands straight down. I gotta stand up and do it. <clears throat> like that. Um, we should start something like that. As a greeting to each other when we're black. Um, yeah. See? That, 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 those are the kinds of things I got out of that, that film. Um, again, it's fiction. Um... It's about a super, Black Panther is a superhero um, of the Marvel series. And, but since when has, have fiction movies not had some kind of an impact on people? Because that's exactly why they make them. Um, and, and depending on what's going on in your heart, you're going to see different things in the movie. Um, if you're bitter... You're probably going to, if you're, if you're bitter about uh, how things are for uh, black people in this world, you're going to, you're probably going to see um, the, uh, one, the black villain in the movie as something that should be done and carried out. And if you aren't bitter, but you do see there is a problem and that needs to be resolved, you're going to side with the king. Um, the villain also briefly became king. 
Um, but, uh, you know, in the end, the, um, uh, the man who became king as a result of his father being murdered, um, say won the won won the battles, won everything and walked away with the with the king as a king. And I there's probably gonna be a part two because of, of the way it ended. Um and you know what? Nobody moved when I saw it with those gazillion black people uh during the premiere. Nobody budged, nobody moved and there was something that happened at the very end that if you didn't wait until after the credits, you wouldn't have seen it. Um, and so, but I went to another movie theater in the suburbs. And, you know, depending on where you live, uh, those tickets are sold out. But they weren't sold out up here, you know, by me where I live. And so, I think there was, there wasn't, there wasn't a whole heck of a lot of black people in that theater and it, and, and it wasn't even close to being full. There was a lot of white people and I was actually sitting right next to um, some Indians, not American Indians, but Indians from India. Um, and everybody except one, two, three, four, five people got up and left before the end, end of the credits to see what happened at the very, very end because they didn't know, probably. More popcorn. They didn't know something was going to happen um, after the credits. So, so I just, I just, I'm just so stoked that that movie did something for my spirit, which a lot of black people claim that it does. I mean, even though it's fiction, um, even though everything that happened in there it was impossible for human beings to do. What wasn't impossible really was what did happen at the very end. What was, uh, it was a scene uh, at the United Nations with the king talking. The king of uh, uh, Kwanda. See, I can't even say the name of the uh, country they made up in Africa, but... Um, you know, I'll look it up and be able to say that right. I'll probably make a post post on Facebook with the character's name correctly because knowing me, I'll research it, look it up, and um, come out with the right names of things. Um, so, what happened in that movie symbolically needs to happen around the world starting with the United States, because this is where I live. If I had been any other in, uh, in, in any other country, I might have thought that it needs to happen wherever that country is too, especially Africa. Uh, the characters were African, had African uh, accents, even though some of the actors and actresses were American. Um, but it just really... It, it was one of these movies, one of these kinds of movies that um, just, you know, reminds, reminded us in a very positive light where we came from. M most people who are awake in the United States and worldwide knows that black people in America have had their history t completely almost wiped off the map. Um things that we've accomplished in the United States um, has been either stolen or buried or, you know, literally uh, white people taking credit for things that we have created in, in America. Um, and I was going somewhere with that. Um, well, over the last uh, couple of years, I've noticed that, you know, a big push, and I'm one of the people who pushes this, which is why they're messing with me on Facebook, um, pushing our our heritage and our history and bringing things. Oh, I know what I was, where I was going to go with that. Um, we don't, black history is not, the American black history is not taught in schools. From the time we are in kindergarten till we uh, graduate high school, um, or popcorn, we're not taught black history. 
And if there is any black history being taught in schools, it's not very accurate and it's not very um, thorough and it's not very, you know, it, do, it still doesn't give us uh, the warm and fuzzies about who we are. I mean, the whole idea of white supremacy and racism and all of that stuff is to instill in us a sense of uh, self-hatred, um, uh, fear, um, loyalty uh, to the white race instead of our own. Uh, because, I mean, they stole our language, they stole our culture, they stole everything when they brought us here and turned us into slaves. They didn't allow us to read or write. Um, you know, some people managed to um, be able to do that, but it it, it took us a long time to, to, to get the right, somewhat civil rights, to be able to function like human beings in this country. And, and it's still completely, inequality is everywhere here. Uh, no matter what anybody thinks, especially if you're outside of this country, um, American blacks are on the bottom rung of everything. Um, all other people are persons of color in this country have some part of their, still have some part of their culture, which makes them operate differently than we do. Um, we are angry culturally, and we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have been so angry and so into violence had we not had so much violence perpetrated against us and continue to. Um, continue to get use the prison system, um, the judicial system, um, all sorts of systems in this country to keep us down. And only um, and, and and then one of the biggest tricks that they do is to blame us for where we are historically, economically, um, politically, um, in all ways they will pull a number where they blame the, the victims of racism and oppression um, for where they are and why can't you get it together yourselves. Well, we will, and we are. Um, and movies like that, like Black Panther, give us a good old boost in the arm to get going and actually do that, that we don't need permission or um, acceptance or uh, anything like that in order for us to try to turn ourselves around as an eth ethnicity in the United States. Um, and worldwide, we, we really don't. We just got to figure out how to stop the division that's going on with, 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 within black people in the United States and, and in other nations. I mean, in, in Africa itself, they've got tribes everywhere. And those tribes don't see eye to eye. Um, so just like those tribes there don't see the eye to eye, similar things are going on in the United States. But we are not a, excuse me, we're not a tribe here in the United States. We're just pockets of people in the community. We've been literally turned into consumers, not owning anything, um, not anything on the same economic scale as white people are allowed to own uh, and have power. So, you know, all of these are systems. That movie, guess who owned the systems? Black people. And they did it in a way that, to me, cast a positive light on us as a human beings on the planet. Not just people to be run over, to be abused, to be used, um, and stuff like that. It, 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 we have got to figure out a way to stop being ignorant consumers. Um, because you know what? We feed the system billions and billions of dollars a year. But we're feeding a system that is oppressing us because we don't own anything. So see the little, um, see the... Uh, kind of like trap that we're in, as long as they don't allow us to have any power and any ownership in anything, then we keep spending our money on them, on their businesses. Everywhere, and especially these, mon these monopolies where you can get things cheaper. Um, 
that attracts us too. We are nothing but freaking consumers here. And then maybe the top 0.1% of blacks in this country actually make it to celebrity status and to be rich. The rest of us are just consumers. Um, and so something like that just made me feel ultra special, ultra good. I knew what was going to happen throughout that movie. So I was laughing when other people weren't. Um, and I think the ladies that were sitting to my, to my left had seen it before too, because they stuck around until after the credits and they were laughing to the parts that I was laughing to as well. Um, the, when I saw it with, you know, tons of black people in a theater, you know, at the end, they were all clapping. Um, I mean, that's the kind of fiction, whatever you want to call it, movie that, 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 that it is. Um, so, um, no clapping in the, uh, when I saw it tonight, uh, well, now last night, <laughs> Um, but I'm clapping in my heart and I swear to God, I'm going to start, you know, people may look at me strange when they say hello. And instead of fist pumping them, I do this there. They may look at me strange, but I don't care. I, 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 I'm, I'm the type of person that will do eccentric things. I don't, I don't really care if they understand or not. And if they ask me, I'll say, I got it from that movie. Um, <laughs> what a setup. I wish I was, I wish I had like, you know, a thousand, a thousand subscribers, subscribers or whatever, so that I can, you know, start something like that. If I put it on Facebook, they keep putting me on in group jail. So they make sure I don't promote myself, uh, promote anything I think. And I found out that they're doing it to other more powerful black people on that platform and just black people in general. Um, you know, Facebook has taken on the task to just messing with everybody, kicking them off of their accounts for 30 days, putting them in these group jails. I mean, they're just going hog wild shit, being white supremacists, practicing dominance um, on its users. And it's almost, well, I'm not going to say anything further than that. Um, about that platform, but they are the most powerful and the biggest one in the world. They know it. Um, they've got at least a fourth of the population of the world on that platform. Um, and they know that too. And they know that they're a private business. And that it's going to take a whole bunch of us figuring out who each other are to fight them. Um, or one of us here and there will squeak through and get them to stop messing with them, but then they'll they'll keep messing with a lot of other people, regardless, unless we file class action lawsuits that they're practicing supremacy and uh, supremacy based on racism uh, on, on that platform. We are being profiled. We are being watched as if we had gone in a store, which has happened to me plenty of times in my life, gone into a store and had the freaking management or other employees follow me around the store thinking that I want to steal something. The same thinking is going on with employees of Facebook. So enough about them assholes. I don't, you know, I'm going to figure out another way. I'm going to make two, another video about something that happened uh, now, day before yesterday. That was really, really great. So I'm going to get off this one. I just wanted to uh, make a shout out to the Black Panther movie. If you if you are black and you haven't seen it, go see it. Even if you don't know anything about it, it's you're going to walk away with some kind of um, positive um, feelings. You're going to be moved. Um, well, I was. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I hope everybody has a blessed week and um, pollinator out. Peace.